Uh, welcome to the Data Future channel. This is Shaker, and in this particular session, we are going to uh, perform the exploratory data analysis on health health insurance data set using Python. So mostly, I am using the Python most famous libraries like Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, and Python. Basically, Pandas and NumPy are used for the data manipulation. And the matplotlib and cbon uh, uh, are used for the data visualization. So let's get started with the data analysis using Python. So initially, what we have to do, you have to import the required libraries. Uh, these are the Python libraries actually. So pandas, numpy, matplotlib, and cbon. Okay. So I'm importing these four libraries. These are these are the basics one. Okay, basic libraries. The next one you have to load the data. In this case, I am putting this all the data into a variable called as the insurance data, and this variable is called as the data frame. Now, how to read the data? So for that, we are having the function so pd dot read underscore csv in the pandas data frame. So I am importing the pd dot read underscore csv and need to provide the file path. Now my file is in the same directory so i am mentioning only the uh, the file insurance.csv so you can see our data is look like this right so you can see that in this particular data we are having age sex bmi children smoker region and charges so charges are nothing but the cost of the insurance okay so uh, we are having a data of almost uh, 1338 uh, uh, people um, and uh, in this data we are going to explore what is there or we are going to find the insights from the data the insights are nothing but the meaningful information so let's uh, get started to explore the data okay so first thing i need to find out uh, display the first five rows. So data is less here, so you can display everything here, but you can't see all these things, right? All the data here. So to understand the data, you can uh, the the first five rows are um, uh, okay, sufficient to understand the data. You can see that these are the columns and uh, our um, these are the rows, five rows. Uh, then you can display the last five rows also by using this. Then you can you you can see the number of uh, uh, rows and columns by using the insurance data dot shape. So this will give you the first one is number of rows and second one is the number of columns. So there are uh, one thousand thirty uh, three hundred and thirty eight records rows and seven is the number of columns, right? So here I am going to display the list of columns here. So you can see these are the list of columns. Okay, and I want to check the data type of each column here. Uh, you can see the age is the integer type, sex is the object, BMI is the float, children is the integer, then smoker, region, charges. These are two objects and charges are in float. So basically, what happens? There are only three. Uh, uh, from this, we can understand that the age is the integer column there are some float columns are also there and also there is object so object are nothing but the categorical columns basically okay so uh, this is about the data type of each and every column now next one is the about the information about the data so when you see the data information you can see that how many non non null values and what is the data type um, here so you will get the all the information about the data here by using a dot info and uh, here we have to use dot d types right now the next thing is very important uh, the important thing is we have to we have to just uh, uh, check whether there is any duplicate values are there or not in the data set so for that I am using a dot duplicated function and when you do dot any so it will give 
the true and false so when when it say true means there is a uh, yes obviously there is a duplicate values so i want to display the duplicate values uh, in the data set so for that i am using a insurance data in the square bracket insurance dot duplicated when you do that you will get the data so these re these record is duplicated now our next target is to we have to remove the duplicates so for that simply you have to create a separate data frame or you can delete it from the existing one so here i am creating a new data frame and from the old data frame that is current data frame i am using a drop duplicate so automatically it will duplicate the uh, automatically it will drop the duplicate records right now i can uh, see the this so one record is deleted means 1337 is there right this seven columns now next thing is i need to check uh, the missing values whether there is a missing values present in the data so you can see that uh, there is a no missing values present in uh, present in any column. So you can check it by using a dot sum because dot sum is basically used to check the quantity or the count of uh, missing values in each category, right? So you can see that here is the count and it shows zero, right? So fine, our data is look like fine. So now i want to print some uh, categorical uh, columns and uh, numerical columns and for that what i am doing so i am creating a list here so you can see that the insurance data one dot select underscore d type this function and here i am including the number and here i am excluding the number including number means numeric type and excluding number means it is a categorical type and finally dot columns i do and i am converting that columns into a list so you can see that now we are having these are the numerical columns and these are the categorical columns right so four numerical columns and three categorical columns present in the data set yeah, okay now we have to do some statistical measures um, using uh, using uh, using the square described with uh, which you can see that uh, we have to we have to we have to add here the include numbers so it will give the statistical measures for numerical columns no you can see that by default it's a number so you can see that the age bmr children and charges are the numerical columns and, and here uh, you can see that there is a count mean standard deviation minimum value max 25th percentile 50 percentile means median 25th percentile and maximum value so these value you are getting from uh, this dot describe function and it's good then uh, you can check it for the um, categorical columns also so i need to change here the categorical columns okay so that a Categorical columns, okay. Categorical columns. So I'll say here the exclude number. So what it gives? There are three categorical columns. One is sex, second one is a smoker, and third one is the region. So it will be count, and it will give the unique values. So here in the sex, there is a male and female smoker, yes or no, and region. There are four regions. And top, it is showing top is male. Top means what? It is the um, giving you the uh what uh the most frequently occurring value okay so it's a male no and southeast and it has given uh its frequency so from this you will get uh, the idea about this okay so before um going on to uh, data visualization we can check um what is the value count and uh, unique values in each categorical column so i will put here insurance data and put the sex here and i say it's a unique so you can see the male and females are unique one then i will print um, uh, here how many unique values are there so for that you just have to put n here so you can see two 
and uh, if you want to see the value count of this also you can do that also you can see value count is very important function it will give the count so you can see that there is a what is the count of male and the female in the data set the same thing you can do it for the smoker so for smoker i will put it into a one um, single line so here is smoker smoker okay unique i am going to print it print here okay second i will print some space third i'll print Okay, here is n unique. Then here is um, then value count. I want to see the value count of smoker. Okay, then I'll run this. So you can see that the yes no these are the two unique categories. Uh, n unique means number of unique categories are two. And uh, smoker are uh, no smoker are 1063 and smoker are uh, 274. Same, I am going to apply region wise. So, for region, I will change only here region. Okay, so copy. And run this, you will get there are four regions south east west south east south north west north east four categories means it's a length of this list and you can see there is a uh, the distribution the value count of each region. so you got this uh, idea about the uh, the categorical columns now we need to explore the data by using the data visualization so I want to check the distribution of the numeric column and we know that there are numeric columns are I will say numeric numeric columns are you can see that age, BMI, children and charges are the numeric columns. So I will run this and I will visualize this. Okay. So age and I uh, will use a dot plot and kind is haste. Okay. This is the simple and I will name as the age distribution and plt dot show okay so you will get a good distribution of uh, age now age range is between the 15 to this how much it is it's around 24 or uh, 22 is maximum uh, number of uh, the customers are present in this particular group then we will check for the bmi same i am using syntax only changing this so the body mass index is maximum in the range of 27 to 32 okay so you can see that there is a highest more than 300 here the same thing you can put for the children the number of children are 0 to 1 that range is highest okay and uh, yes you can if you if you remove this uh, bins here so what you will get so you can get the maximum no children maximum um, these things are no children and uh, minimum is around four to five children okay and this uh, we know because uh, already we know that um, there is a, uh, there is a uh, the age range is uh, below 20 is maximum so you can check here the uh, what is the range it is around uh, uh, it's around 18 to 24 or 22 right so next uh, next one is the charges we can check the charges so charges are maximum from this in the range of uh, almost of 500 5000 okay that is the maximum one so you can check uh, that also in which which category it is falling so you will get this charges okay. 
now uh, next one we have to plot the bar graph so bar graph gives you the idea about the count of each category so i want to check the count of each category by using this so here i want to plot it for children so zero children are having the maximum number then the one two three four five is five and four is having lesser number okay so this is about uh, the bar graph and again bar graph is plotted like this first we have to calculate the value count and then to that value count we have to plot kind equal to bar kind equal to bar so you can run this and check right so for the instructions uh, uh, for uh, the sex means gender again you can apply the same statistics uh, same syntax so almost the uh, the number of uh, male and female in the cat in the data set is same uh, region wise i'll check so region wise you can check this is the distribution so most number of uh, uh, the customers are present from the southeast okay and equally from southwest northwest and northeast okay now next one is the box plot so basically box plot is used to check whether there is a uh, is there any outliers are present in the data so again we are using the same syntax the the column plot and kind is equal to box and when you run this you will check there is a lot of outliers present from the upper whisker okay so you can see the charges distribution is there then we can check for the bmi how it is distributed bmi also having a few outliers beyond this beyond almost 48 and we can check now the outliers in the age in the age there is no outliers okay so data is well distributed in this so there is no outliers in the age there is outliers in the bmi and uh, uh, insurance cost cost means charges right okay uh, so we want uh, we are going to plot the pie chart because how this region wise data is distributed so i'll check I'll uh, use this as a value count. Already we know that. Only just I want to put the uh, uh, PRT dot file label is the region count index. Then X is the region count dot values, and uh, uh, here uh, shadow uh, is true. Uh, auto percentage is this, and explode is this. So I am giving the the, uh, the the title is distribution of region and you can see how this is exploded now you can see that uh, this this is uh, taken out this sector is taken out but from the distribution you can see that these are almost same these two are almost same this is quite uh, it's a similar but the maximum is from southeast okay now next one is the correlation matrix so if there is a numerical variable so we want to check is there any correlation among this and for that i am using a dot cor function for these numerical columns and i am plotting the heat map by using an c bond right so this this will fix my size of the graph and sns dot heat map round so round means it's a two decimal places i want which uh, i want to display the number and uh, a percentage we can say a note is equal to this. I want to display the numbers uh, this is the color i'm going to set and c bar is false actually and i'm giving the uh, name to this particular uh, heat map as this and plt dot show when i do this you will get a nice heat map so heat map will give you directly the relationship between these uh, variables okay. but um, here you can't see any uh, correlation among this so great so here i want to plot the scatter plot so cluster scatter plot gives the same uh, it it checks the relationship between the two numerical variables okay now you can see here uh, i am using plt dot scatter data is equal to insurance data one x axis there should be age versus y axis is the charges same i am doing for the bmi versus charges and bmi versus age then we'll check uh, how these are correlated I am running this. You can see there is a, a quite relationship among the age and the charges. The age increases. You can see the charges increases. So here you can see the age and the charges 
uh, are having a uh, 30% of uh, relationships 30% okay not uh, quite good here the next one is bmi and charges will check okay bmi and charges there is a no any specific relationship under this okay then we'll check bmi and age i think there is a no correlation among this this is the weak correlation we can say but here is the no uh, relationship among these two variables right so this is about the scatter plot now the next one is we have to check insurance cost for smoker and the non smoker person okay so here what we are checking the insurance cost uh, uh, data dot group by where we and i'm uh, putting the group by using a smoker and here um, i will check it on the basis of charges and i am taking a mean of it and dot reset and you can check i i will i am getting this uh, this data frame here where you can see the charges for no smoker is 8440 this is the mean value actually average value and charges for smoker is this so you can see that there is a quite difference between the significant difference between the smoker and no smoker insurance cost so the okay the same uh, same thing you can you can plot it by using a uh, using a bar plot and you can check the average value average value of the cost insurance cost for smoker and non smoker the insurance cost for male and female uh, you can check uh, it by um, using the same so i am giving the and the charges so here you can see you can take a mean of this so and storing it into this so i can't see any significant difference here between for male and female you can check it for here so you will see the male and female uh distance charge there, there is a slightly for female there are the male there are quite uh, more uh, the charges than the females right the region wise i want to check the minimum uh, charges uh, the mini uh, average charges so almost these are same uh, this uh, you can plot it on the uh, the bar chart also okay fine so region wise if you want to check the bmi what is the average bmi the region wise uh, it it is uh, 29 29 for northwest southwest is 33 uh, and southeast southwest it's a 30 so you can plot it on the bar plot you can see the bmi most for the south east okay now um, we can say the uh, region wise uh, male and female and the cost you can see so i am using a cross tab let's check the uh, you can see um, the region and uh, this thing uh, okay so i want i i help you here this thing okay uh okay uh, no it's not a valid one let me check no actually this is not giving the correct one but uh, if you want to check region wise male and female um, uh, the count okay so that what you can do uh, so you can do the group by again i am just copying these things i want to check region wise uh, count here for male and female here group by and here i am putting the sex sex here and i want the count and uh, yes when i run this so region wise uh, um okay ha huh. so we have to do the here again we have to put one more column so that it will give you the correct one okay no so i think we have to put it into a uh, okay now you can see that uh, it has given uh, this um, um uh, given this uh, uh, the count of uh, male and female uh, 
region wise so you can do it by the reset index here so you uh, sorry retail reset index is not cannot be done already uh, already there okay so okay fine so with this you can see the male and female these things by using a uh, group by function so like this. so this is all about the um, uh, the exploited data analysis on insurance data data set so if you have any questions you can ask thank you thanks a lot